So we're going to start some potty mix so that way we can start some plants going into the spring season. However, our shifter has worn its last leg. So what we're going to do is show you how we're going to make our compost shifter. And we're going to start right now. What's going on YouTube Gardener? It's your boy, Sydney from the Naked Garden Channel. After watching this video, hopefully you'll see the importance of having your own compost shifter. Now, we had this for quite some time now. We were just about to start some potty mix, and as you can see, it's basically worn out. We had this about two years now, and it's constructed very well. Just need to get some new fabric uh, on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, loosen these up and to make one, what you would like to do is probably if you're going to use it in a wheelbarrow or whatever you need is take the measurements off of whatever you're doing. Like we did it off of our wheelbarrow. So we got the measurements off of here so it fits right perfectly on here. So what we're going to do is take these screws out. So we're going to add some new fabric uh, mesh on here and uh, with these you want to go you don't want to go more than a half inch size a quarter inch size will probably be perfect but uh anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch size will be just great so we're going to loosen these screws up and then we're going to got some pocket screws in here you don't have to have pocket screws uh, but i just did that uh, because i do a little things extra and i want to make sure that it's sturdy so the things you're going to need get some two by four rip it down when you say rip it down, what do you mean? Because for people, they don't understand what you mean by rip it down. Okay, so you got a two by four, right? And so when you rip it down, this is where you basically just rip it down to uh, do the long. Rip work. it down means cut? Cut. Okay. So I was making sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're going to do that real quick. Just need to drill, and then you also need some snips. So we're gonna take these uh, staples out, and then uh, we're gonna put it all together, and we're gonna show you from there, so. All right, so now that we get the old fabric off, we're gonna put the uh, new hardware fabric on here and start at one end. Make sure it's flush, squared, and plumb. And we're just going to nail it in. We're gonna uh, secure it all the way across here and then we're gonna stretch it out so that way we get nice and tight and then we'll hammer that in and then we'll put the frame back on and secure it.
So now that we got that all secured, we're gonna take some, some of these uh, snips and cut it down here so that way there is no jagged edges once we secure the top of it. So now, all we gotta do is put the piece top piece back on. Make sure we got it right. Cool. And all these are just deck screws, so they're weatherproof. So you don't don't have to worry about it rusting, rusting, or breaking off or anything of that nature. So as you can see, it's nice and tight. So we're good to go. We're gonna give it a little taste, a uh, little test. There's many different ways that you can do build one of these uh, compost shifters. Uh, I'm gonna show you the purpose of using this right now. So this is this um, already finished compost. So we're just gonna grab some of it. We could probably do about two to three scoops. And then all you gotta do now is just throw, uh, wave your hand through here like you just don't care. And all this small particle will fall through, all these large particles will stay on top. And that way, anything that's not finished is just too large to go through the, uh, to be used. We'll show you how to, what to do with that. Sometimes you might even have large rocks like this that when you're doing your compost. You see all these are no good to be in the compost. Got some rocks, some large woods, uh, got some meal bugs here, some other rocks, large sticks. So all of this won't be used for the uh, comp uh, for when you're doing your whatever you're using your compost for. So what we normally do is just put it with the rest of the reused compost there. And as you can see, you might still this is why you want to best use a quarter inch or eighth inch. Uh, sleeve there but look at that that's nice good good compost right there you know so now for here we could just add some um, we could put our shift out some peat moss and then add some topsoil shift it out with that topsoil as well with the shifter any type of growing medium that you would like to use uh, for your containers or for your raised beds uh, you can even use add some uh, slow granular fertilizer in here and this will be a good potting mix uh, meat grow medium right here we do other garden videos we'll put a playlist above here so you can see other diy helpful hints and tips and stuff uh, if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the like button if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss an upload until the next video let's grow together